the children of God, yes, we always face obstacles in our lives. Do I have a witness here? Amen. And I gave you that preface before about the difference between a lecture and preaching just because I wanted to give you that disclaimer in case the preacher sneak up in me. Amen. All right, all right. Uh, but, but the children of God, yes, we always face obstacles in our lives, but, but with his strength, we can overcome our mountains no matter how rugged the terrain is. Do I have a witness Amen. here? Uh, I get it that some of us feel inadequate to face the mountains of life. We, we learn significant lessons from Caleb as he claimed the mountain that God promised him. Do I have a witness come here? On, come on. We find that he was sufficient for the task and God provided him with strength for every demand. Do I have a witness yeah, here? Yeah. But as I look at this text and as I want to lectureize this, there are three things I want to just get you to see. The first one is, is that he had confidence and his confidence never ceased. Amen. Amen. Now then, mm -hmm. just as the Lord mm -hmm. promised, yeah. he has kept me, mm -hmm. it's in the text, yeah. alive 45 years yeah. since the time he said this to Moses while Israel moved about in the desert. So now he said, so here I am today. I'm 85 years old. Yeah. 45 years later, uh -huh. Caleb declared that even at 85, he was still bold enough to capture the land. Do I have a witness right. here? Somebody say confidence. Confidence. Right. Um, of course, he placed his confidence in God just as he did 45 years earlier. He could remember the God of the Red Sea, how he did for him at the Red Sea and his provisions in the wilderness. Even after the wilderness wanderings, he was determined to place his confidence in God's power to see him through. Do I have a witness here? Yeah. So Caleb's faith in God was not shaken by circumstances. And if we ought to move forward, my brothers and my sisters, if we ought to climb our mountains and as an association and as a people of God, we too must express our confidence in God and his ability to give us the victory. Amen. Amen. Even in our own lives, we have to place our confidence in God. And the problem is, my brothers and my sisters, we're too often placing our confidence in ourselves. All right. Out. Go ahead. Lecture. I told you 10 minutes is going to be the quickest lecture you ever heard. Go ahead. Number two, his strength yeah. never failed. Watch uh -huh. this. When you look at verse 11, he says, I am still as strong today yeah. as the day of Moses sent me out. Amen. All right. Caleb had been through the difficult days of the desert. Uh -huh. And as a result, he had an unparalleled strength. Let me bless you right quick. Difficult times strengthen us as we trust God. Amen? Amen. Watch this. If you watch people, when they're going through a storm, yes, sir. you can tell how they make it through their storms. Amen? Amen. Do they bounce back mm. or do they lay down and die? Do I have a witness here? Difficult times, my brothers and my sisters, will strengthen you when you trust God and the Creator. And, and we lose the fear that comes from hard times because we know that God has previously seen us through the past stuff. Amen? Amen. And Caleb, my brothers and my sisters, he witnessed the parting of the Red Sea, the fall of Jericho, the return of I. He was determined to stand in the strength of his God. So the operative question is tonight, are you standing in the strength of God? Or are you standing in your own strength? Or are you standing in your own power and mind? Last one, I'm out of here. Take your time. Take your I ain't time. even got to watch y'all. Take your time. Number three. Yeah. Number three, verse 13. Uh -huh. His God. Yeah. <laughs> Never forgot. Amen. Amen. Watch this. And Joshua. Yeah. Blessed him. Yes, he did. And gave Hebron to Caleb, uh -huh. the son of Jephunneh, mm -hmm. as an inheritance. I'm going to bless somebody right quick. Because of his willingness yes. to tackle the tough territory, mm -hmm. Caleb had enough of himself 
and his descendants. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all missed that right there. Amen. The benefits of his mountain climbing experience not only poured over his life, but it also poured over those around him. Amen. Okay, I just blessed somebody right there. When you face your giants and your mountains, God will not only bless you, but he'll bless those that are around you. Do I have a witness here? Have you ever just been in the room and you were blessed? Have you ever just been around somebody and you were blessed? And when a believer faces a mountain and he climbs to victory, his or, his or her life is a blessing Amen. to others who have Amen. a witness here. Amen. Now I'm out of here now. Amen. I'm going to close my lecture. Amen. Amen. God can allow the challenges, the, yeah. the hurts, the heartaches in our lives to touch the lives of others. You don't know who's watching you no, to see right. how you're going to make it out or how you're going to climb your mountain. Amen. Amen. And I said this last Sunday, some folk can't get to the mountaintop with you. Do I have a witness here? Some mountains are just designed for you to climb and go over. Do I have a witness here? Although the mountain may look rough, although the mountain may look stony, although the mountain may look rocky, although the mountain may be snowy, although the mountain may be slippery, but when God is behind you. So as I leave you now, he has freely uh -huh. offered that gift yeah. of life to all who call it. Yeah. But you got to have the power mm -hmm. to climb the mountain. Amen. Let me circle back. That's what a lecture is. That's all right. To where I started yeah. off. That's all right. You got to have the power yeah. to climb your spiritual mountain. Amen. You got to have the power uh -huh. to climb your financial mountain. Yes, you got to have the power. Yeah. To climb your people mountain. Yeah. yeah, put me right there. You gotta have the power to climb your work mountains. Yeah. You gotta have the power to climb your household mountains. Amen. I say you gotta have the power, power to climb your relationship mountains. No, you're right. I say you gotta have the problem yeah. to climb your church mountains. All right. How do you do it, Reverend? Yeah. I'm glad you asked me. Why should I do it, Reverend? I'm glad you asked me. Uh -huh. How can I do it, Reverend? Yeah. I'm glad you asked me. Thank you. One Friday. Come on. Jesus.